Hey guys, it's Jeff and today Apple released iOS 11.4, which is likely the last version of iOS 11 that we will see before the release of iOS 12 betas coming to us at WWDC this year. So let's check out some of the new features and what makes iOS 11.4 worth the upgrade. So first we'll start off with the new features because that's what all of you guys want to see first. So we have the reintroduction of iMessages into the iCloud. Apple very abruptly took this feature out of iOS 11.3 and started to fix some bugs with the feature in iOS 11.4 betas. As of now, it seems to be running quite smoothly on the iCloud and all of what Apple said it was supposed to do is working so far. The huge benefit that this feature brings to all of us users is the ease of viewing and storing iMessages on the iCloud. So in case your device is lost or is inaccessible, you still have your iMessages, which are obviously very important to most of us. Now, one thing that I will say about this feature is that it does take up a lot of memory, especially if you are a heavy iMessager. So you might want to consider upgrading your iCloud storage to accommodate for that. Other than that though, this is an awesome feature that I believe will be widely used by a lot of people running iOS 11.4. So go ahead and check it out once you update to this latest iOS version. Next up is AirPlay 2 and like the iMessages feature in the iCloud, this feature has been off and on within iOS. Finally, in iOS 11.4 betas, Apple sorted out all of the bugs with this feature and we are seeing a fantastic feature being brought to us in iOS 11.4. AirPlay 2 allows for compatible speakers to play through AirPlay like the Sonos or other technologically inclined speakers that are coming to the market very soon. AirPlay 2 also improves on connection issues that we saw within the original AirPlay, but also allows for more than one connection, possibly making your entire home connected through multiple speakers. This would be absolutely awesome to have speakers spread throughout your house and being able to play music from one device to all of them. So stay tuned for more news on how this feature develops because it really does open a lot of doors for iDevice users. So guys, those were the new features. Make sure to comment down below on how you like them and if those alone are worth the update to iOS 11.4. Don't leave yet though, we do have some benchmarks for you, some performance overview, and of course our opinion on if you should or should not update to iOS 11.4. So benchmarks, we'll start out with Geekbench and run our traditional CPU and compute test. For the CPU, we scored a 4,245 on the single core and a 10,411 on the multi-core. For the compute or GPU performance, we scored a 15,097. Now in our beta versions, we did at one point hit 17,035, which is an all time record on an iPhone 10. But due to stability versus performance issues, Apple had to throttle back the GPU performance to allow for more stability. Hopefully we'll see these numbers in the future, maybe even with iOS 12. Now, speaking of performance, let's talk a little bit about that because obviously iOS 11.4 brings new features, but does it bring performance? The answer is yes, and it does so in a really big way. GPU performance has been the big winner through this update, and with that, a rather impressive amount of stability. I've actually found iOS 11.4 to be the most stable build so far within the iOS 11 release, and I'm really pleased with that performance. I'm experiencing less crashes and lags in this build while experiencing a much higher and noticeable amount of performance increase across the OS as a whole. Now, as far as our opinion to install or not install this onto your phone, I'd say go for it. As I just said, this brings a lot of performance to your iPhone whilst maintaining stability. And one more thing to add is battery life is not affected in our normal test. So if you have an iPhone 6 or newer device, I'd highly recommend this update to take advantage of these new features and of course the performance as well. Sadly though, if you're rocking an iPhone 5S or SE, I'd stay away from iOS 11 completely, but if you are already on it, I'd stay, stay away from iOS 11.4 as it might cause some significant performance loss for your devices. So guys, that's all you need to know about iOS 11.4. Comment in the comment section what you like about iOS 11.4, and if you download it, what your experience is on the new version of iOS. 
If you want to update to this version, just go to the settings app, to the general menu, and then onto the software update to find this new update for your iDevice. Anyways, thank you all for watching and make sure to get subscribed for some more upcoming content. Also hit that bell button if you want to stay up to date on our content as soon as it's released. So again, thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.